So over here, you can see that I got a Figzam file right here. So if I were to go around and then make some changes to this, let's say, for example, bring this here, bring this here, then what I can do is I can save a version history of this. So to do that, you can go around onto the file menu, go to file right here, and then you can save this to version history. So let's say this is v1 right here, just like this. So let me just save that out. Now I'm going to go around and make some changes right here. So I'm just going to delete out a bunch of stuffs right here, draw out something. And now I'm going to go around over here into file and save this to version history over here as well. So this is going to be v2 right here and save it out. So let me just go around over here and then select this. So just gonna go around, move this out right here, delete uh, some further things right here, and maybe add in some shapes right here. So I'm saving up some shapes right here and then I'm saving it out as version history right here, just like this. So version history uh, is uh, the same file, but with different versions in different point of time. So you can, uh, so uh, many of the times version history is saved automatically, but you can also save it out manually like this. And to access our version history, you need to go around onto the file menu. Then you go around into file right here, and then you can click on show version history. So once you do that, you see all the version history that you saved out. So if you were to click on this, then what happens is that that version history actually pops up as you can see. So automatically, it has also saved out another version history right here as you can see. So now if you were to go around right here, you can name a particular version right here according to how you like it or you can restore this version so it replaces the current file with this version. Or what you can also do is you can duplicate out uh, that version uh, history and what happens is that another file is created right here. So if I were to close this, you can see that this is in its current version, but a copy has been created right here as you can see. So you can just go around right here onto the file menu and then you can go around into show version history and then access it out again and then access out different options. You can also copy out the link and share, share that particular version history with other people if you want to. So that is how you can work around with version history inside of the exam file. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.